Can Father Bear see the sunset at sea? Yes, the very same one. And in the morning, because fishermen get up so early to fish, he can see the sunrise too. Can I see the sunrise just like Father Bear? You'll have to get up very, very early. Unless I stay up all night. I'm afraid you're too little to do that. I'm not too little. Little bears need their sleep. Good night, son. See you in the morning. And then the bear ate all the honey and went to sleep with a very full belly. That's a good story. Yes, it is. Let's read it again. We've already read it twice. Now it's time for you to go to sleep. Good night. Mother Bear! What is it? How long before the sun comes up? Not until the moon goes down. Good night, little bear. Sweet dreams. All right, I'll be right back. Now go to sleep. I gave you a kiss. I didn't kiss you back. Good night, little bear. Mother bear! Mother bear! Oh, what is it, little bear? It's too hot. There. Now I'll see you at breakfast. What's for breakfast? We can have oatmeal and juice. What kind of juice? Little bear, go to sleep. What are you doing up? I'm staying up all night. Oh, me too. I hardly ever sleep at night. You must be up when the sun rises. Actually, I prefer the middle of the night. Why? It's nice and dark, and no one can see me. Don't you get scared? Sure, sometimes. The night can be very scary. But I like that. Want to come? I better not. See you in the morning, then. I've still got dinner waiting somewhere.
I wonder where Father Bear is now. It must be very dark on the ocean at night. There must be a lot of waves. And the water must be very cold. Whoa! Mother Bear! What's wrong? I need a lifesaver. A lifesaver? I was pretending I was on a boat, like Father Bear. And the waves were really big. Now this time, I want you to go to sleep. I mean it, little bear. <sighs> oh, Mother Bear, I must have been sleepwalking. Hmm, you've never done that before. I can't get to sleep. Why not? Because I want to stay up and see Father Bear's sunrise. You're sure you want to stay up all night? Okay, then. Let's go wait for Father Bear's sunrise. Mother Bear, where does Father Bear sleep at night? Father Bear sleeps in a warm cabin on the ship. He has a red and blue checked quilt on his bed. And on the nightstand, next to his pillow, is a picture of you. That's a good place to sleep. A very good place. Does he have a glass of water at night, just like me? Of course he does. Does he get a bedtime story? Well, every night before he goes to sleep, he reads the letters I write to him. And do you write him things about me? All about you. Good morning, sleepyhead. Morning. I'm sorry you missed the sunrise, my little bear. But I did see the sunrise. You did? Of course. Didn't I say I would? Was it very beautiful? Yes, it was. Father Bear saw it too. He waved to me. Then you are a lucky little bear. Yes, I am. sure we'll hear from Father Bear very soon. He should be home any day now. Today? Maybe today, or tomorrow, or the next day. Now go take your bath. I've already filled the tub. It's time for your bath, little bear. I can take my bath right here in this puddle. That would be a very muddy bath. Don't you want to look nice for Father Bear? Yes. I'll go get clean all by myself. <laughs> it's good to get dirty before you take a bath. Be sure to clean behind. 
mind your ears, little bear. Yes, Mother, I will. And don't forget to use a bar of soap. Okay. Maybe this is my father's fishing net. Hello? Hello up there? Hello? Oh. I said hello. Were you talking to me? I thought you were Father Bear. Don't think so. No. <laughs> Who's Father Bear? He's the captain of a great big fishing boat, and I'm trying to find him. Who are you? I'm a mermaid, of course. Maybe I can help you find Father Bear. You can? I have to get out of here first. Do you get trapped often? Sometimes. Ugh. 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 Roar. Thanks, little bear. Come on, let's find Father Bear. <gasps> that may be his boat. Come on. Wait for me! Don't worry. He's on his way home right now. Are you sure? Father Bear! Father Bear! Father Bear! Father Bear! Don't worry. He's on his way. That's what the mermaid said. The mermaid? The one I helped out of the net. Was she a nice mermaid? She was. She was helping me find Father Bear. Well, I have his letter right here, and he'll be home tomorrow. Yay! Will you read me the letter? Let's get you dry first. You were very clean. Did he ask about me? Of course he did. He sends you a big hug. I wonder how this got here. Then the storm passed, and every net was filled to the brim with fish. What a sight. But most importantly, I can't wait to see you both when I get home. And Little Bear, if you'll give Mother Bear a big hug for me. 
I'll bring you something special from the sea. All my love to you and my little bear, Father Bear. Read it one more time. Again? Yes, again. Oh, I've read it three times, little bear. Just read my favorite part. Which part is that? The part where Father Bear says he'll be home tomorrow. Are you so cheerful today? Guess why? Let me see. You cut your toenails? No, that's not it. You just ate lunch. No, it's much better than that. You... Uh, hmm. Father Bear is coming home today. Today? Well... I have to get back home to meet him. Guess where Father Bear was, Hen? Hen? Hen! <laughs> I give up. Where was Father Bear? He was fishing out on the ocean. Far out on the ocean. Naturally. He's a fisherman. He's bringing something home for me. Maybe he'll bring me a starfish. Or some coral. Or what if he brings a mermaid? A mermaid? Yes. A little mermaid. A pretty little mermaid. With blue and green hair. And maybe Father Bear could bring her back home with him. Ooh, a mermaid at your house. I want to see her too. Come on then. Maybe we will. Duck. Hi, little bear. Hi, Hen. Guess what? Um... Father Bear is coming home today. Oops. I gave it away. Anyways, guess where he was? Uh... Out on the ocean. Oops. I gave it away, too. Uh... Guess what he was doing? Uh... Fishing. Oops. Did I give it away, too? Yes, he was fishing. Far out on the ocean. Out where the mermaids are, maybe. Yes, and we're going to see one. A mermaid. Can I see one? Sure, come on. We're going to see a mermaid. A real uh, mermaid. Uh, what is a mermaid? A mermaid is very pretty. She lives in the water, and if you're a fisherman, you maybe get to see one. A mermaid's hair is blue and green. Like the ocean, blue and green. Oh, she sounds lovely. I can't believe we're really going to see her. Maybe we are. Maybe we are. Is that you, Cat? Father Bear is coming home today. He was fishing out on the ocean. Yes, far out on the ocean. Out where the mermaids are. Mermaids? Yes, Father Bear is bringing a mermaid home. She's very pretty, and her hair is blue and green. And maybe her eyes are silver. Like the moon. Silver eyes. How pretty. I'll have to see her for myself. Well, hurry. I've got to get to my house. We're almost there, 
now. <gasps> We're so close. I can almost hear Father Bear saying... Hello, little bear. Father! <sighs> Hello, hen. Hello, sir. Hello, duck. Hello. Hello, Father Bear. Why, hello, cat. Come on, Father. Mother Bear will want to see you, too. We came to see the mermaid. Mermaid? A mermaid at your house. Her hair is blue and green. She's very pretty. And her eyes are silver. Silver like the moon. How nice. Where is she? You, you have, have her. her. I do? You didn't bring a mermaid? No, no little, little mermaid. mermaid? Are you sure? Well, my. Really? But I did say maybe. I did say maybe. Well, I don't have a mermaid, but come in and see what I did bring for you. I missed you. I missed you too. So, what did you bring me? Come along inside. I have something for all of you. Yeah! Seashells. Seashells? From the ocean? From far out on the ocean? Very far. You can hear the ocean in them. My! Amazing! You really can hear the ocean. And maybe you can hear mermaids, too. Yes, I hear it now. Huh, you really can hear a mermaid. Hello, mermaid. Are you in there? Father Bear, can they really hear a mermaid? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. 